I've got to say, in this fast moving era of AI, the clear winner of 2025 is Google. At the beginning, Google was nowhere to be seen in the AI race. But as 2025 rolled in, Google started dropping one bomb after another. First came Gemini Studio, a blessing for coders and web developers. Then arrived the king of AI video generators, Gemini Veo3. Veo3 shook the entire world of AI video creation. And honestly, no other model has even come close. And now, once again, Google has blown everyone away. This time, it's not video, but photo editing tools like Photoshop and Canva that are in danger. Google has launched an AI tool that not only meets all your photo generation and photo editing needs, but makes the whole process super simple too. Yes, you guessed it right. I'm talking about Nano Banana, also known as Gemini 2.5 Flash. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with Nano Banana. Make sure to watch till the very end because I've got some unique ideas lined up that will take your creativity to the next level. Before we dive in, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I keep bringing you the latest videos on AI tools. All right then, let's get started. So let's head over to Google AI Studio now. This is where we'll get access to Google's brand new image, generation and editing. Gemini 2.5 flash model, which for now, people are also calling Nano Banana. Let's first start with image generation. And I thought, why not compare it with the ChatGPT 5 model? Let's see which one performs better. My first simple prompt is this, a young woman sitting by a cafe window, holding a coffee mug, casual outfit, soft sunlight. Let's paste this into Nano Banana and at the same time into chat GPT. Nano Banana instantly generated the image. Now let's check in chat GPT. It's still processing the image. Meanwhile, let's see Nano Banana's result. Wow, not bad at all. Look at this. The image is made with so much detail. It literally looks like a real photograph. Now let's check chat GPT's image. Hmm, man, what is this? Such a boring image. Exactly as per the prompt, but plain and artificial looking. But Google Nano Banana? Wow, brother. It understood even a simple prompt with so much detail and gave out a highly realistic image. See for yourself. You can even notice the slight reflections and stains on the glass window. Just like in reality. Here, in terms of both speed and quality, there's a clear winner. Google Nano Banana. Let's try one more. Prompt. A young woman standing in front of a colorful graffiti wall wearing casual streetwear. And look at this. Wow, absolutely amazing. The detailing is next level. Nobody would believe this is AI generated. Look at the colors, the fabric texture, even the paint splatters on the street are visible. Totally next level. Now let's check chat GPT's result. Oh man, after looking at Nano Banana's image, this feels like a total disappointment. Think about it, chat GPT 5 was still considered one of the top AI image models. But here, Google has literally wiped it out. At this point, there's no sense in continuing the comparison. Let's move straight ahead and explore Nano Banana's other features. By the way, friends, Right now, the Nano Banana model is completely free and you can generate unlimited images here. But in the future, it might become paid or the free trial could come with some limits. So while the doors are wide open, go ahead and try it out. All right, let's generate another image. But this time, let's try something different. I've entered the prompt. The image is ready. It's of a woman making coffee in a coffee shop. Now let's ask it to generate the same image from different angles. And look at this, the same image, now from three different perspectives. Just think about how useful this can be if you make presentations or want to showcase your product. All right, now look, I've uploaded an image of a girl and I'll give the prompt, this woman is jogging in a park. Look at that, the same girl, same outfit, but now she's jogging in a park. And you know what? It even used common sense. It tied her hair up 
because obviously no one jogs with their hair open basically it set the whole scene perfectly now let's do this let's go to mintra pick a sportswear outfit okay this one looks good i'll take a screenshot paste it here and give the prompt change the clothes of this woman to the reference outfit and look it changed the outfit but it kept the jacket and shoes the same so let's tell it remove the jacket and replace the shoes with the ones from the reference image and now look perfect she's wearing the exact sportswear outfit just imagine how useful this feature can be let me show you another example here i've uploaded a black and white photo of a model first of all see how easily you can colorize any black and white photo look how amazing this looks now let's grab an image of a blazer from mintra paste it here and prompt change the clothes of the man wearing the black blazer with the outfit in the reference image run it and look at this the work is done with absolute perfection i tried something similar in flux context too it worked there as well but the results always lacked something but nano banana the results are next level now i've uploaded an image of a woman let's make her pose with this man like a professional model photo shoot i typed a simple prompt and just look i didn't even give detailed instructions just added the line as if they are posing for the camera and the model instantly understood what kind of pose is expected in that scenario with features like this not only can you have fun like trying different outfits on yourself to see what looks good but even more importantly think about the professional potential for your apparel business you no longer need expensive photo shoots no need to spend money you can generate your own models make them pose in different outfits and create a full catalog right here and remember Google Nano Banana is free and unlimited right now. So remove all limits from your creativity and dive straight into the ocean of possibilities. Now look, I've uploaded my avatar's image. I want to change its clothes and maybe tweak the background a little too. Since my channel is faceless, I'm using my avatar. But just imagine what you could do with your own personal photos. My avatar's outfit has changed and so has the studio background. Now if I want my avatar to stand in the same studio, no problem. and i can even add text in the background see this the girl in the picture is holding an empty board let's remove that board and take her to a college scene now she's promoting my channel And here's another cool feature. Let's upload a product image along with her. I want this girl to hold a Coke can in her hand with a college canteen background. Hmm. This pose doesn't look right. Let's adjust it. Perfect. Now it looks natural. This way you can merge multiple images together to create a complete scene. Once again, an amazing tool for product advertising. All right, this time let's try merging 3 images instead of 2. I've got this woman, this puppy and a room background. Let's see what it creates. Not bad at all. It builds such a beautiful scene. Though the woman looks a little off. maybe because i used a close up image where only her face was visible if i had uploaded a full body photo the result would have been even better if you are a youtuber then this tool is going to be super useful for you too need different expressions for your thumbnails or maybe you find it hard to get the exact kind of photos with the expressions you want no problem at all 
Just upload a simple photo of yourself, then find and upload another image from Google with the expression and hand gestures you like. Now, in the chat, simply write. Make the expression and hand gestures of the first person match the second image. That's it. Job done. And since we're talking about thumbnails, you can even make custom thumbnails easily now. If you like someone else's thumbnail, just download it. For example, I picked a random thumbnail here. Now upload it to ChatGPT and give the prompt. Write me a detailed prompt to recreate a thumbnail just like this one. Add these changes, whatever changes you want. ChatGPT will create the perfect prompt for you. Then paste that prompt into Google's Nano Banana chat area. Tweak the text if you want. Upload your avatar's photo and just add Replace the person in the image with my reference image. Boom! Your brand new thumbnail is ready. Pretty useful, right? Want to make a burger ad? Just type a simple prompt. And there you go, your banner ad is ready. This one I kept simple, but the more details you provide, the better and more amazing the results you'll get. Now before we wrap up, let's check out some of the built-in features of Gemini 2.5 Flash. People have already built a bunch of apps and showcased them here. You can explore them yourself. There are some really fun ones. For example, let's try this fun activity app called Fast Forward. Here you upload your photo and it shows you how you'd look in different eras, 1960s, 1980s, 2000s. With the hairstyles and outfits that were popular at the time, you get a whole retro style album of yourself. Pretty cool, right? All right. Last but not least, let me show you how you can build your own personal app easily. In the chat area, just type your requirements. For example, I asked ChatGPT to write me a prompt for creating a thumbnail generator app. I pasted that prompt here. And within seconds, your app is ready. Let's test it out. Enter your video title. If you want, upload your avatar's image too, choose your font and color theme, click Generate. And here it is, your custom thumbnail is ready. You can even tweak your app right here, make some changes, apply them and test again. See? Done. Now you can either keep this app for your personal use, showcase it or even deploy it. So friends, that's it for today. The video has gotten quite long. If you've watched till the end, thank you so much. If you found the video useful, make sure to give it a like. And if you have other ideas on how to use this new Google model, please share them in the comments. Also, if you've already tried Nano Banana, share your experience with us too. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.